These robots might seem a little underweight for sumo wrestling, but that's exactly what they're competing in. They're the creations of first-year computer science engineering students at the University of New South Wales. And this is their first major project. No, that was out, that was out, that was out. To help them get it started, I gave them the plans for a simple design, the first robot they can build. And we sort of just throw them in the deep end and give them a pile of Lego and some vague instructions. Just like in real sumo, being heavy is an advantage. You grip the, the ground better with more weight over the wheels, and of course it's harder for the other person to push you. The result is several different designs, each with a different plan of attack. This sensor right here, as you can see, is supposed to sense our opponent's robot. So when it gets close, yeah, it'll sense it and it'll react to it. So basically, it'll push the robot all the way out of the arena. We've got these touch sensors rigged up to the side things. So if we get touched anywhere along the right-hand side or the left-hand side, the robot turns towards it. Uh, we've, we've named that the, uh, the Halo Defense System. You can find the other robot first and get them on the side where they're vulnerable then you can win the match. The front treads here actually spin this way while in action. So when another robot comes up to us, they start lifting up and start rolling. It's actually happened in testing many times. We can get the other robots to spin over, which of course gives us a ridiculous advantage. It's not entirely no holds barred though. They weren't allowed to make hammers or missiles to try and actually destroy the other robot. But uh, those things generally turn out not to be very effective. A simple design that just located the other robot and get, moved in quickly for the kill and pushed them out before the other robot could react was usually the best strategy. Here's a battle cannon. It's just there to make it look cool. Um, it's got some light sensors there that uh, stop it from running outside. This makes it look like it has a face to try and psych out the other robots. Ready, set, go. The end result is a three-way playoff. Hey, no, 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 get away yeah. from us. You guys kill each other, we'll just stay here. <laughs> <laughs> As to the overall winner, it's a little undecided. What do you think Oz is doing? Oz is like average right in the middle. Go. <laughs> Complete chaos as always, but they had a lot of fun and I hope they learned something about programming and, and testing and some of the some of the teams I know this morning their robots weren't even working and they were going help it's not working and, but they all managed in the last minute to build something that that could compete in the competition. For the victors, there's all the glory and adulation of a real sumo match. For the losers, well, it's back to the circuit ball. What happened? It failed like royally. <laughs>